Hi my friends, we continue our video series from where we left off. In this video, we will take a look at the concepts such as property, setter, delater. We will see what they do through an example. In general, we start by defining the subject we will talk about at the beginning of the video. But when I look at the definition about this subject on the internet, I couldn't find a really catchy and a meaningful explanation, at least for me. So I will try to explain it through an example. If you are following this video series, you know we created a class called car and uh, we were making our examples on it. We have a method to calculate the horsepower, but we could also do it within the init method. And I'm sure you have thought about it. Let me show you how we can do it inside the init method. But just before that, I want to clean my terminal. I will do it quickly. Okay, it looks better now. We can easily calculate the horsepower. Let me show you it. Car1. Then we just call the horsepower function let's run it okay it works but i'm sure you have thought that we can calculate the horsepower without a method i mean we can do it in the init method let me show you so we can calculate the horsepower in this way kilowatts multiply by to calculate hp this value we did the same things as we did in the method. From now on, I will be able to access the horsepower as an attribute. So let's see what I mean. I will keep the function as a command. And uh, I will just write it as an attribute. If I run it, I will clear my terminal. I got the same result. I, if I run it, I will have two same results. No problem here. But, but the question is, why didn't we use it in this way? I mean, we could uh, do it at the first place. You will get the answer soon. I have a scenario. Let's say something went wrong and the, the kilowatts value of this instance had been written incorrectly and the, we, we need to fix it. We have learned that we can do the fix as follows. We can write something card out and the, we just fix, I mean we, can, we just update the kilowatts attribute. So let's write 200. I clean my terminal, but if I run it, look at the terminal. We have two different results. I used to get the same result from both of them, but this time I got two different results. But when we use a method, we, we don't have such a problem. When we call this method, it goes and takes the latest value of the instance and it does the calculation over it. Just before going on, one thing I want to draw your attention to, you know, we call methods by adding parentheses to the end, but we don't do such a thing uh, when we want to access an attribute. What we need to do is to solve this problem, we need to use a method instead of writing it in this way. I mean, the calculating it in this way. But the problem, if we convert this attribute with this name, I mean, if I just copy and write horsepower here, if I convert this attribute to, to a method like that, uh, we can have such a problem. So for example, this attribute could be in a very used uh, attribute and uh, you know, this attribute could be used by other classes as well. Our goal here is that the places using this attribute should start to get the right result without making any changes. I, I mean, 
the classes, I mean the places, shouldn't add parentheses end of the end of the uh, attribute here. That is the subject of today. Okay, we understood the problem. I am going to remove it for now. We are not going to use it anymore because we tested that it doesn't return the true result. So we need to solve this problem without the, the user, the client noticing it and without making any changes on the user side. So I also don't have such a, a method. I delete it. If we try to call this method in this way without putting parentheses, this will return the place of the variable in memory. Let me show you. Look, we got the place in memory. It doesn't return any value. So to access our calculation result, we need to put parentheses. But we can't do it like that because we need to access this method like an attribute. So to solve this problem, we will use the property decorator. I removed the parentheses here and uh, I just go top of the method and uh, I'm just going to write property. I save it and I clean my terminal. If I run it, look, this time we were able to access this method like an attribute without getting an error and uh, without putting parentheses, which is great. To make one more example, now I'm going to add another method using the property decorator and uh, we can access this method like an attribute. So let's do it. Just write card detail. And uh, I'm going to use fctring. Let's write self.model. Self that color and uh, I write self that horsepower. I use hyphen to separate this. Okay, it's ready. I save it and uh, I can access this method like an attribute. So let's see that I run it. I got an error. Sorry, I shouldn't have put a parentheses. It's because we use the property here. Okay, if I run it again, I got the result. No problem. Since we treat it like an attribute where we use it, like here, we don't put parentheses, like we, we use it like an attribute. If we want to make change on it, we may get an error. Let me show you what I mean. If we write attribute name, I mean the method name, but we treat it like an attribute. If we try to update it, we get an error. So let's try to update something here. Let's write Kamaru and uh, let's change the color black and uh, the horsepower 300. If I save it and run, I get an error. Can't set attribute. But we may want to make such an update by adhering to the following syntax because, as I said, we can access it like an attribute. How can we solve this problem if we want to make such an update? This is where the setter decorator comes into play. So let's see. First of all, we specify that we will write a setter for the method we use. First of all, we write the name of the method that we, we, we will use setter. We put a dot and the setter. This is how we define setter decorator and then when we perform a set operation. The method we will write under the setter decorator will be triggered. So let's see what I mean. Just write car detail, the self expiration. You can write anything here, you know, you can. The first parameter represents the instance. 
we have already learned that and the second parameter represents the expression I wrote here the within the expression you can see that there is a hyphen the with the help of this hyphen we can parse parameters so let's do that just write model color the kilowatts the we are going to parse this expression we are going to split it by hyphen there is a point that I want to draw your attention to we were returning the horsepower from the car detail so this value is not the is not the kilowatts actually it is horsepower so we need to divide it and they get the a kilowatts value so we can do it in this way I'm just going to write model equal to model and this is color equal to color the self dot kilowatts equal to I'm going to convert it to integers and uh, I'm going to divide it to calculate HP value and in this way we are going to get the kilowatts value and uh, I save it I clean my terminal if I run it again I didn't get an error so, so let's call this function again to see if the changes has been made look at here we parse the values from a string and they update our instance in this way using setter we also have another decorator called deleter let me show you this will work when we want to delete card detail like that card1.card detail I need to define a method just under it I will just write pass for now but I will remove it to show you something if I run it I got an error because it, it says can't delete attribute we can't delete the card detail if we don't use the later so let's do that it is actually quite simple what I will do is set the values to none so let me show you self.model equal to none self.color equal to none self.kilowatts equal to none and uh, that's all there may be different approaches but I will go in this way and uh, from now on if I want to delete I'm not going to get an error let's try it I delete it and they didn't get an error if I want to access it after delete I will get an error look it's great I will end the video here I hope you liked it thanks for watching see you in the next series